Hello church and happy Tuesday. I just wanted to share with you today a story from John chapter 5. And we see that there's this man and he's in a place in his life where he's needing to find change. And it says this starting in verse 1. Sometime later, Jesus went up to Jerusalem for one of the Jewish festivals. Now there is in Jerusalem near the Sheep Gate a pool, which in Aramaic is called Bethsaida, which is surrounded by five colored colonnades. Here, a great number of disabled people used to lie. The blind, the lame, the paralyzed. Verse 5 says, One who was there had been an invalid for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time, he asked him, Do you want to get well? Do you want to change? You know what's weird to me as I, as I think about life and look at life is that there are people who come to church frequently and have absolutely no desire or intention to change or, or do anything new in their life. And it reminds me of this. It reminds me of someone who, who goes to the gym and they're there every day. They're there every day for two hours. But the problem is, is that they're just there hanging out. They're there talking to people, having a good time. They're going to Krispy Kreme before and Starbucks afterwards. They can spend all the time in the gym that they want, but nothing's going to happen unless they put the work in. And it's the same as church. Most of us, we, we like the idea of God changing our circumstances, but we don't like the idea of God changing us. We like the idea of looking like, hey, I'm here at church, I'm doing a good thing, but we don't like the idea of God really coming in and changing us. But what I want you to see is that there's a, there may be an area in your life where you're wanting change to happen, where you're wanting your circumstances to change, but it, that only happens when we're willing to expose that certain place, when we're willing to be honest about what's really going on. And we see in this story that Jesus walks right up to this guy and he asks him this question, do you want to change? Not do you want your situation to change, he says, do you want you to change? And he's here at this pool and this is what this pool, this pool represented this place where there was all sorts of people lying around just like him. And you know what that pool did? That pool made him feel comfortable about his situation. It made him feel comfortable about the place that he was. And maybe you're in a similar place and you're surrounding yourself with other people who are similar to you, who have similar struggles to you right now. And it makes you feel comfortable about that. And you feel more comfortable about your dysfunction. But I want you to hear this today, New Hope. Church cannot be this. The church body cannot be this. It, it cannot be a place, a group of people that we come to week in and week out, be around people with similar struggles and never leave changed. We have to be willing to expose that place. Listen, it's okay to not be okay, but it's not okay to stay that way. And how does that happen? It's by being honest. It's about letting God really come in and change us from the inside out. So here all these people are at this pool. They're sitting there. They're waiting, waiting and thinking, man, some things never change and they're just waiting and they're waiting and they're waiting and what are they waiting on they're waiting on verse four to happen if you have your bible with you i want you to turn to john chapter five verse four and what you're going to find is that in most bibles verse four is not there that's a little fun fact that you can have to share with someone later today but what are they waiting on in verse four it says this from time to time an angel of the lord would come down this angel would stir up the waters and the first one in the pool after each disturbance would be cured of whatever disease they had so this puts this man who's lying on his mat, who is, who is paralyzed, at a disadvantage because the angel would come down, stir the waters, and his first one in would win. I want you to see that's what religion does. Whoever does the most, whoever goes the most, whoever's the holiest wins. But guess what? Grace says, uh-uh-uh. It's not first one in that wins. Jesus came down, the personified grace of God. And he comes, and he comes to the man, he says, the last shall be first. And he walks up to this man and says, you first. And here's where it gets good. This man, he's frustrated because he says, hey, it's always the first one in the water. But if you go back in John to John chapter 4, we see that Jesus is with the Samaritan woman. And he asks her for a drink from the well. And she says, how am I supposed to give you a drink when you don't have a bucket? And he says, you don't need a bucket when you are the well. I am the living water. And he, Jesus is talking to this man. The man says, sir, I can't get to the water. And Jesus is like, that's okay. You don't need to get to the water because the water has come to you. New Hope, this is salvation, that I couldn't get to the water. I couldn't do it myself. I couldn't save myself. I couldn't get myself out of the situation I'm in. But Jesus came down from heaven to earth, who is alive today, and he's saying, I'm here. I can change whatever it is that you want me to change. And in verse 8, Jesus says to him, get up, pick up your mat, and walk. Jesus does a miracle and heals him in that moment. Could it be for us that we are sitting around and we're waiting just like this man for verse 4 to happen? We're waiting and we're just sitting here not doing anything different, just waiting for Jesus to come in and change our situation. But really, it's more like verse 8. And Jesus is saying, if you would just trust me, if you just get up and walk it out, I'm going to do a miracle. I'm going to do something new in you. So here's my challenge for you today. 
Be willing to expose that place, that area that, that you've been hiding for a long time, that, that struggle that you've been keeping a secret and be ready to give that over to God, not just to wait for him to come down and do something new, but, but be active in your faith. Get in your word, spend some time in prayer and walk out the miracle that Jesus has for you today. We love you. Hope you have a great day.